Hey friends, today I am hanging out at Disney Springs. The reason I came down here today is because I want to visit Uniqlo because they actually invited me out to come customize my own t-shirt and I'm actually going to give that t-shirt away to one of you guys so I'm so very excited for that and also I want to go to Amaretz and see if they have any new spooky additions to their already amazing treats. Anywho's, let's go do this. And yeah, how cool is that? They actually asked me to come down and test out their new You Team Me customizing t-shirt station. It's not officially opened yet, and they're only gonna have it in this store and then also the store in New York on Fifth Avenue. So I'm excited to make a t-shirt and then also I'm gonna give it away to one of you guys. When it comes to Disney apparel, everybody says this clothing line is just as good as Disney when it comes to making t-shirts and designs and stuff like that. So I'm super happy about it and I can't wait to see like what I get to customize. It's super awesome in here and it's also very bright. I like stores that are bright, but they have tons of cool Disney stuff. Look at some of these amazing shirts. 101 reasons to love you. Wow, lovely three cats in Paris, a Bambi shirt. This is really awesome. Oh man, 101. You guys know I love Dalmatians. Everybody wants to be a cat. And the prices aren't actually that bad. That sweatshirt, everybody wants to be a cat, is only $29. At Disney, probably 60. This is another cool shirt too. I'm all ears. Look at all of them. He always makes you happy. Wow. So many cool Mickey and Minnie shirts and I like the actual design of them. But speaking of design, let's go design a t-shirt. And here it is. The You Team Me. You design your own shirt and they literally make it right here. And I think it only takes a couple of minutes and you can actually customize your own or you can use some already pre-designed ones from like some very popular people. Huh, I think I'm gonna make my own though. You can use Disney characters or just any other stickers that they have licensing rights to. Or you can actually upload your own picture, or make a little customized art. But like I said, I'm just gonna do something on my own. Looks like they are only $24.90 for adults and then kids are $19.90. That's really good. So what you do is you basically start off here and you get to choose from a picture, a text, a stamp or you can actually paint something so like if you went into the stamp you can actually pick from all of their licensed things including disney ones let me see what disney ones they have here ah uh, see they have like all the different characters but some of these characters are very limited because of licensing with disney so if you got mickey there's certain things you cannot do to it so what we're gonna do is we're gonna customize our own I guess one of the hardest things is actually to be very on the spot creative because I am drawing blanks here people, drawing blanks. No. I mean I guess I'm going to just try to do a PMM shirt, let's we'll see how this goes, P M M. Oh wow, that came in some pretty colors, <laughs> let's see how this works, wow. Wait, now we can add an effect to it. Splash. So that's what it would look like. I don't know if that's pretty. That was just the first try. I think we can do better. I love this. Large. Ooh, I kind of like that. Kind of scary. I think what we're going to do is add the additional layer, but I'm going to put Paging Mr. Morrow actually in font at the bottom. I don't know guys, what do you think? I'm not feeling the font, I think I need to change the font. I'm feeling pretty good about this one guys, I'm feeling pretty good. I just think it fits good. The reason I went with black and red is because you look at the tag in the back there, the UT me, it kind of matches. And I don't know, I don't think people know what PMM stands for, so I decided to add a little paging Mr. Morrow, but I like it, I like it a lot. Oh, looks like they're gonna prep the t-shirt now. Look at that, it's going in the machine. That is so crazy, it took literally like three minutes. 
why my t-shirt is actually getting printed up I figured I would just share with you guys that I feel like my design levels is probably on par or matched with like a 13 year old or maybe 7 year old look at that that is awesome wow that is so cool and like I said I'm gonna give away this t-shirt that I made but I also made a backup one too in case you didn't like the red and black i went pink and blue i'm just getting fancy fancy and festive that was so much fun to actually make i loved it it was really fun and like i said it's cheap it's not that expensive to actually make and customize your own shirt so now i'm going to tell you how you can actually get this shirt all you gotta do is like this video, comment, and subscribe, and I will put all the names in a random giveaway app, and it will actually draw out a comment, and I'll reply, and I'll get your shipping information, what size you want, and if you want the red and black one, or the pink and blue one. Seems really easy. So good luck, and now, let's get some tasty cakes. I absolutely love amarettes and I can't wait to see what spectacular Halloween desserts they have. Look at this, they actually have a sign out front. Ooh, is that a creme brulee right there? This is gonna be good. Oh, it smells so nice. I want all of these cakes. Oh, I can see they're decorating some cakes back there as we speak. Oh, yes. Oh, wow, look at all of these. The pumpkin mini mousse. Carrot cake with pumpkin mousse and marshmallow. Wow. And then over here, we have the pumpkin cream brulee. I think I'm gonna have to get a pumpkin cream brulee, a pumpkin mini mousse, and then a pistachio eclair for my leisure later. I feel like one of those fancy people from a 90s movie like that just went shopping at Beverly Hills. Pretty woman walking down the street. We got a nice little spot right here, and uh, we're gonna try the cakes. I'm not gonna be able to eat both of them, but like I said, I'm gonna you know, put them in the fridge later. The pistachio is my favorite, so I had to get one. Oh man, that's just a lot of sweets though. Luckily, the cast members told me that if I wanted to eat uh, the mousse, a spoon is better, so I grabbed myself a spoon to eat my mousse. It looks so pretty. I don't know if I wanna do this, but we're going for it. I'm diving in. Okay, I'm gonna use this to hold it. I'm sorry, Minnie. Oh, oh wow, I can already tell I'm gonna love it. Look at the inside of that. Can you see the layers? The marshmallow mousse, the pumpkin mousse, and then the carrot cake at the bottom? Wow. This is good stuff. This is so good, guys. Wow. What a great blend between carrot cake and marshmallow and pumpkin. Wow, that's all I gotta say. Unbelievable. Much too good for children. Not a big fan of candy corn, so we're not gonna eat those. I'm gonna put this away, save the rest for, like I said, later, and now we're gonna try the creme brulee. Another one that just looks so amazing. I love the nuts. Look at Oh yeah, right there. That is awesome. Let's see how we're gonna dive into here. Oop, I'm gonna get a little bit of the nuts in there. Oh, this is, looks so good, guys. Oh wow. Amorettes never disappoint. That is so good. Wow. Seriously though, guys, that is so delicious. Look at this. If I had to choose between the pumpkin creme brulee and the mini pumpkin mousse, mini pumpkin mousse hands down. I mean, that was fantastic. The carrot cake was unbelievable. This was good on its own too, but once you run out of nuts and the topping, all you have is just the pumpkin mousse left over. Amaretz is a great way to get yourself feeling wonderful about the day, but of course we can't make a trip to Disney Springs without stopping in the world of Disney. But I feel like they changed the entrance every other day. Now it's over here. Well, I was going to try to go to the World of Disney and then it started raining and then I found out the line is all the way down there. And you actually loop around and then come back in right over here. But it's pouring out and I don't have an umbrella. I don't got no umbrella. We're going for it. Luckily I got my trusty hat to save the camera. 
this is absolutely crazy i this is like my first time seeing world of disney you remember me saying they keep on switching the entrance is this like the new permanent thing wow we're or like out by the garage and this is valet parking i'm gonna feel like a fool if i mix like in another entrance somewhere but holy moly we made it Oof. and i'm happy to be out of the rain sanitize thank you the funny thing is is i'm not quite sure what i came in here for i guess i just wanted to browse a little bit i do know i want to get some halloween stuff for the house and this is a pumpkin spice candle i really think i gotta get this this is pretty awesome for 20 dollars, and i think we get 30 percent off for pass holders right now oh and then look at that little pumpkin down there i don't even know what that's for like what would you put inside the pumpkin's mouth the pumpkin is only 29.99 and i guess you could put candy in there but i'm getting the uh i'm getting the candle but wait a second look at these shirts look at the teacup one. Oh, that is so awesome and then they have simba oh they have malfinson's dragon take a look at this backpack jungle cruise skipper that is awesome how much is this oh it's only 50 dollars wow and then like i said these t-shirts are so awesome simba and then you got some stormtroopers and i'm pretty sure on the other side we have kylo ren and tigger oh yeah kylo ren tigger and oh chippendale oh i want to see the chippendale one i'm gonna take this oh wow those are awesome i have to say i get really excited when i see the nba stuff from a distance because it looks like it's something that it's not i mean no knock on the nba but it kind of just looks festive from a distance like take a look here as you're walking up would you guess this is all nba stuff no but look it's all nba stuff i mean like i said no knock on the nba but i kind of like look at it like oh what's this over here and then i get here and i'm like oh but over here is where all the good stuff is i just love halloween it is so awesome definitely my favorite time of the year i don't know christmas and halloween i feel like those are the two front runners for everybody I don't know if you have a favorite holiday, let me know what it is, other than Christmas or Halloween. I've never wore a jean jacket before, but I really like this one. I wish I could try it on to see what I would look like, but since I can't do that right now, I don't think I'd just buy it just so I can see what I would look like, but this is really awesome, isn't it? Look at that. How much is it? $79. That's not bad for a jacket. I love Jack Skellington though. It's a Jack Skellington jacket. That rhymes so good. But like seriously, I've never even tried on a jean jacket, I don't think so. I don't even know how that would work. I wonder how I would look. I'm gonna try it one day. I'm really loving this vintage Star Wars stuff though right here. My friend actually was just down here was wearing this bounty hunter shirt, but this jacket is pretty awesome. That's amazing and it is like vintage, right? I better hop in line though so I can buy my candle because it looks like it is a wait. Oh, holy moly, it is a wait. The line starts here and it wraps all the way around and then back down and then this way. Okay, we're doing it. And would you look at that? As soon as we actually get done at the World of Disney, the rain stops. Crazy. Anywho's, I think that's going to do it for me. I had a lot of fun just hanging out here unique low thank you so much for inviting me out to you know make my own t-shirt that was so much fun guys make sure if you want to win this shirt i know it's not like really fancy it's just literally me painting pmm but if you want to you know win it make sure you like the video comment and be subscribed and like i said i'll pick a random winner so i'll see you guys next time bye